Welcome to another episode of Kitchen Revelations. Today's video is not only a recipe but also a product review. It is Lifelong's Bread Maker. So without wasting much time, let's quickly get on to the video. So this is the bread maker that I had purchased online. It is Lifelong brand and uh, this is the bread tin that I have received along with this bread maker. You also have set blades which are separate which you need to fix before starting the process. This is a measuring cup that I received along with this bread maker. This is the scoop and this one is the spoon measurement. Now I'll be giving you a demo of one bread recipe. For that we'll add one cup of water that is 240 ml. We'll add the wet ingredients first and then the dry ingredients. Next into this I'll be adding one spoon, one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of sugar. Sugar is added for the yeast to ferment. At the same time we are not adding yeast here because we have already added salt and salt will kill yeast. So hence we will add yeast later. Next we will add 2.5 scoops of oil. This is plain sunflower oil. Please use odorless oil. Next to this I will be adding 250 grams of refined wheat flour that is maida. And if you measure it by cups it is 2.5 cups. Next we will add whole wheat flour that is 150 grams. If you go by cup measurement it is 1.5 cups. Next, we'll add one spoon of instant dry yeast. Please note it's instant dry yeast and not active dry yeast. And just one spoon is enough. Too much yeast will give a yeasty smell to your bread. Next, we'll place this bread tin into this bread maker. Please ensure that the tin fixes in well. And once you switch on, you can hear a beep. Once you switch on, select the menu function. Since we are baking bread, I'll be selecting the fifth one. Keep on pressing the menu option till it reaches five. Next we will select weight, it is already at 750 grams so need, no need of selecting any option. Then we go to the color settings, uh, please select dark, so press on this color setting function, it will move on to dark and then press on the start function. So initially the bread maker will be on heating mode for 1 minute, you can see that the cursor is on the heating mode and then it will start with the stirring function. So the stirring function has started. It will go on for 10 minutes. You need to check in between whether the water quantity is sufficient or not. Water quantity depends upon the quality of flour. Some flours require more amount of water. So add one spoon at a time. In the end you need to ensure that the dough is not too sticky nor too hard. So I checked in between. I can find that the dough is slightly hard. So I am going to add about one scoop of water. So like that in total I added two scoops of water. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Click on the all options so that you get updates as and when I post. Also, please do share your feedback in the comment section below and let me know if you want to learn more interesting recipes. So as you can see, the speed has increased and this will go on for a total of 10 minutes. After that, there will be a resting period for the dough for about 10 minutes. In this way, there will be 3 times kneading and 3 times resting in between. So it will take around... 1 hour for this whole process. So now the dough had been resting for about 1 hour and you can see it has doubled in size. Now after this the baking function will start. It will bake for around approximately 45 minutes. All those who are interested in buying a bread maker I would recommend this product because you don't have to handle the dough. The hassles of kneading, stirring, then fermenting, proofing everything is handled by this bread maker itself even baking. So finally you can see that after 4 hours our bread has baked perfectly. Initially the crust will be hard. You need to apply some butter to make it soft and then wrap it in a wet cloth. Allow the bread to cool in this bread tin for about 10 minutes and then only demold the bread from this tin. So you can see that our bread has demolded perfectly. The blade has come out on its own and it's inside this bread tin. Now as I mentioned earlier we'll apply butter generously on the sides of the bread to give it a glossy effect and at the same time to soften the crust. The bread is still hot. Please wait for the bread to cool down completely. It will take at least one hour. Uh, wrap it in a wet cloth so as to retain the moisture on the crust. Place this wrapped bread loaf on a wire rack to ensure that the bottom doesn't turn out to be soggy. So I had kept this bread for about two hours wrapped in that damp cloth. And you can see super soft bread is ready. One thing to be noted is that if you are adding more wheat flour the bread becomes dense. And at the same time if you are adding more refined flour that is maida it will become more airy and fluffy. So if you are okay with the dense texture you can add 
50 percent of refined flour and 50 percent of wheat flour i hope this video was informative please give a thumbs up if you like this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching kitchen revelation